happy Saturday, everyone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Uh, today for the Hukalo Saturday webinar, our guest is Michelle Yero, and <clears throat> I'm gonna let her tell you guys a little bit about herself. We will have some announcements and some blessings and talk about the workshop, and then we'll get started. So uh, thanks for being with us today, Michelle. And do you wanna give us a little bit of background of what, what you do and what we're gonna do uh, today? Well, today I wanna talk about toning. Um, which is a free and easy healing technique. <laughs> um, I came into toning after, I think, well, I am a Reiki master teacher in Asui Holy Fire Reiki. I have a master in Galactic Reiki, and I'm attuned to other Reikis as well, and I work with different energies. Um, not on purpose and not because I wanted to, <laughs> toning started becoming part of my um, healing practice I could feel energy build up in my body um, and it was like make a sound <laughs> um, so I went through I am not a musician I am not a quantum physicist I am not a scientist although I have studied all of these things what I found is that um, attending somebody, a friend of mine, Sarah Oxidine, toned the Hathors, and my body responded to it wildly, like flinging, <laughs> like I could feel sound waves going through me, I could feel buttons being turned <laughs> in my body. So what I found is that for me, not only is Reiki really helpful, but the uh, sound is really, really effective on my body. Um, and as I was getting my Reiki degrees, um, I thought, why do I have to stand in position and put my hands here and then there and then there? Like, I think we can do this faster. And so I think what the universe did is reminded me of an old ancient way of healing using sound. Um, and it's pretty mainstream and it's getting more mainstream. So I would like to teach you guys some little practices and show you a few things and talk about how sound works and heals. I think that's it. You're muted. I'm muted. <laughs> Today in the room, we have uh, Christine, Lucia, Reinhardt, Trinity, and myself, Temple. Um, and we have a couple announcements. Uh, we want to talk about the Galaxy with Love book and the fall workshop. So if you guys have not gotten your hands on the Galaxy with Love book, it is available in Amazon, I believe. Um, and you should go check it out. We have a fall workshop coming up on August 8th through the 12th in Rochester, New York. And you can email Angie for details. There's probably also information going to be on hukalo.com. We're at .com, right? I believe so. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, and you can email Angie to register. And her information is aspeed6456 at gmail.com. And so other than that, um, do you guys have any blessings that we want to, Christine or, um, oh, Lucia popped out for a second. Trinity, Reinhardt, anyone want to do any blessings? Blessing for you, Okay, I will do a blessing. That's... <laughs> I, can't oh, do I can't right now. I'm so sorry, honey. I can't, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I can do a blessing if you like. Okay, that would be awesome. Thank you, Lucia. Right now? Uh, whenever you're ready. Oh, all right. <laughs> Sorry, I was in and out, that's why. No, it's okay. Alashasa no mini kili shisika, ashosu no mini ki, asashasala kili shasaka, mashosi ni mini, Michelle. Ashosi ni mikala shasakala, ashosu no mini sikala shosa, akala shosuki. Namaste. 
That was beautiful. Thank you. I got a little bit of it, or I got a little bit of my own translation. It was something like, um, as we all gathered gather today, we hold the light for Michelle as she brings forth teachings of vibration and music and something, something like that. That's all I, that's all I got. For that. <laughs> for that Perfect. One. I don't know exactly what the something, something, something like that is. No. Awesome. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, does anybody else want to give a blessing before I go? Okay, I'll give a blessing quick. Um, Dushuko sonatai hokolo paji anazaga oa natasi kushina sata haya nodobguja nanda de kata kulo ona hakala haikia shoto nobositiata nala monetata muko o boja nata hana asiaka nata namaste. Okay, and so. Um, I'm going to turn it over to you, Michelle, and if anybody has any questions, if you guys want to write them either in the, the uh, YouTube chat or just write them in the group chat, and then uh, we will just go from there. So I have been fascinated, actually, with sound. I'm not a singer at all. The sounds that I can create with this vocal cord box was divine intervention. Um, I, I'm not trained. I don't know what notes to hit. Um, my daughter's favorite thing to say to me when I used to sing was, um, stop it, you're making my ears bleed. <laughs> so, so there's some irony in the fact that I do Tony. Um, so just as a basic idea, I think First thing I want to say is that all matter is energy. All energy vibrates. Every vibration has a frequency. Frequency equals sound. So in our bodies and in our subtle bodies, our emotional body, mental body, spiritual body, astral body, etc. A lot of times what happens is we have blockages or attachments, um, karma we need to work through, uh, what have you. And so when I send energy, I send energy with sound. Of sound, I kind of ask the universe for a way to make it faster because I want it to be efficient. And so sound works through all these subtle bodies and also usually when I get the session, I will put my voice down on the body. I was gonna show you too, when I listen to, um, you can find a lot of sound healing hurts. Um, and I have this little speaker and I put it close to my body if I'm working on a particular chakra, but I can feel the waves of the sound go through me. So sound, this is ancient. This has always been. It's a lot less now in our lives because there's so much exterior noise. We don't whistle while we work. So that would really make people mad. <laughs> and we don't hum. And at pretty much every venue I go into, somebody's playing music for me. That will, this is usually jangly to me, but. Um, so, you know, just naturally, a lot of times, say you get in an argument and the person walks away and you're like, ugh, you're emoting. You're like shaking off that energy, so to speak, with your voice. Um, you know, there's a lot of spontaneous sound that comes, like laughter, disgust, like, ugh. <laughs> um, and I got interested in sound years before I started doing it because um, I had a near-death experience. And I also had interest in things like astral traveling, but I 
did not feel okay. Like I was not okay. I needed to find a way to want to want to live. And I use sound constantly. So I would look up rifes or isochronic tones or binaural beats that would introduce frequencies into my brain so that I could heal my own self. And I found those to be really, really effective. I also got really interested into cymatics. And that's basically taking sound waves. And um, so one example would be they put silica or sand on a, on a metal plate and they'll play like a bow sound or a frequency and it'll make a pattern. So that is sound frequencies affecting matter. So they did an experiment in one of the, that I watched and they use cornstarch and water and they put it in a little box and they added these frequencies and this cornstarch started to build itself like four limbs and a head. <laughs> and it started doing this. Um, so I just find the whole notion that my whole body, everything in my body, this computer, this lamp, this table, everything is frequency. It's just really slow on our 3D planet. <laughs> so it feels solid. Um, so what I had learned and, and I've read and I've experienced is that intention plus vibration equals healing. Um, it's been used like in the beginning, there was the word and the word was God. So word, sound, um, the Sufis use sound. Um, Icaros, the indigenous peoples, Chinese for centuries have been using, they have a singing stone of jade. Um, Tibetan monks, Hindus, mantra, uh, Tesla said, if you wish to understand the universe, think of energy, frequency, and vibration. So there are certain um, kind of givens for most bodies. And um, one thing is that sound affects us. And especially if we are going to if we're looking for healing and everybody can do it for themselves. Like I don't have to do it for you because everybody is a healer. So if I do a session with you, then we're co-creating. You're saying, yes, you're allowing. And I am merely a conduit, like a hollow bone delivering intuitively whatever energy is birthed for. Um, so there's a number of ways you can think of the sound, think of like when a siren goes by or a crash sounds and your body kind of viscerally reacts and it contracts or conversely giggling um, or hearing a really fun song. That's not a sad song. <laughs> so <laughs> my mood can be changed almost instantaneously if I will listen to something that feels happy. Um, and a lot of times uh, I've had experiences like in retrospect where I can change my mood of song, but also like I'll be singing with or listening to say the violin and you hit some high pitches and I burst into tears for no reason. I always wondered what that was because that's been happening for 30 years. But 
anyway, that's uh, just how my body responds to sound. I have an every other week healing session with a sound person and she does a lot of bowls and rattles and things of that nature and kind of sticks to the format. But mine is very free flow. So I want to start by, I think we'll just go ahead and um, I want to teach you about the chakras. So each chakra has a correlating sound. Um, and it's actually different in different traditions. If you don't like the one that I present today, be sure to look up another one. <laughs> um, so beginning, at, if you guys want to unmute, we can try this all together. Okay. Okay. So the root chakra is ah, uh, like UH. That is the ah uh sound. And in technical terms, like I said one certification for sound healing, and this is where I learned this. This would correlate to the sound C. Well, I'm not a trained musician, so I don't know if I'm going to make a C. But when I do it at home and I practice, what I do is get like a tuner and I hit a virtual piano for the C note, and then I use my voice to say, uh, so we'll start at the root chakra. Uh, Okay, nobody odd with me, but feel free. Oh, I didn't know if we were supposed to. I thought you were going to like, <clears throat> I thought so, you were going to like. What I said earlier is intention plus <laughs> vibration. So we're focusing on our root and our root is red. So our intention is to clean, clear, and balance our chakras. This Should we do it all together? Every um, day. This can be done every single day. So we're gonna do the root chakra again. So everybody kind of just like, look at your root. <clears throat> uh, uh, See how I kind of just like switched out. Just have fun with it. Using your voice toning um, gets rid of stale energy out of your lungs, but also vibrates with intention for that clearing. And it vibrates in your body. So you're sending yourself these. Frequencies. Okay. So for the uh, solar, I mean, for the uh, sacral chakra, which is orange or red orange, um, focus on that. And that is ooh. Like, oh, oh, oh.
that's a little too high for me. <laughs> you don't have to follow. You do whatever you want. Whatever your body feels is what you should, what needs to come out. Your body feels like, <laughs> that's fine. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So the next chakra is the solar plexus. And that is a long one. So. so much in my body it's just vibrating um so the next one ah it's so hard just say ah ah so. one's kind of ironic because this is your throat chakra and the sound is I. It's all about me expressing my truth. I, I am. So, uh, You want to go over the colors of the chakras one more time? Absolutely. 
So um, the crown is our last one. I'm gonna go through them after, we'll, we'll just finish up with the crown sound. And this one is white or gold. So the last sound, which is really funny, I realized this week, if you just say the word E, I don't know. It can put me in a really good mood. Like, e, 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 e. Anyway, so the higher, these go up the scale. So this should be, this can get really high. Do it, whatever feels intuitive to you. So this is white and this is sacral chakra and it is orange and it sounds like mm. next the third chakra is this solar plexus and that is yellow and that is o on o and our heart is green and it sounds like ah H. Ah, and then our throat chakra is blue, it's eye. Our third eye is indigo. Sometimes people use violet too. Um, okay. But that is a long A sound. And then white or gold is the E sound. So for 10 minutes, if you do this for 10 minutes, it is reported um, that you can start to really get into alignment and really kind of work stuff out, set your intention and just make ways in your body. And that vibrates what we're, what, we do is we can vibrate with our own voice, our self back into alignment and balance and harmony. Um, so for instance, you might want to shake it up. Maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you want to go. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh, oh. vibrations in your body um it's kind of things are reacting and so that's just the chakra sound now when i deliver sound it's usually to the person or situation so i'm usually channeling sound that i usually can't make with my own voice <laughs> um and sometimes that comes in the form of solid tones. Um, it might be really high, higher frequencies. I mean, everything has a frequency. So my liver has a frequency. My heart has a frequency. My eyeballs have a frequency. The table has a frequency. 
pregnancy, right? So there's homeostasis of health. And when things are in dis-ease, there's a practice um, that I learned about toning, just grunting, even groaning. You just think of what ails you and you just start emoting what you think that sounds like. So I want everybody to set an intention. I'm gonna, I think this is fine for me to do Jamie now. I'm gonna use my friend. Are you cool with that? Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna, I learned a technique. I'm going to share with you, but I want all of you guys to throw your consciousness in with Jamie as I go around with an intention. So first I'm going to open with toning with Reiki. Wait, one moment, please. I'm going to use one of your things. It's okay. All right. So when I open for a session, I like to tone whatever it is to open up with all of the symbols of routine. So, all right. want to make your intentions in your head or if you want to speak them out loud what do you think temple um if if they wanted to speak i think that would be great okay. um, and if you don't feel comfortable that's fine too so if you want to um unmute and uh let us know what you guys are thinking that would be great yes hi this is lucia, hi, lucia. so i would say my intention is to be very clear in my thoughts and direct in my, in my intentions of being at peace within myself. That's it. Thank you very much, Yeah, this is fine. I would like to have my intention um, to take in all the energy which is just now ramping up and uh, assimilating it in my body as best as I can. This is my intention. Okay. I am gonna do a sound session for you also, aside from this as well later. Okay. Anybody else? Sean, uh, Christine, Brooke? Um, I would like to be able to have more vital energy when I do energy work on people. That's great. Uh, Christine? Okay. She's unmuted. Christine? Are you there, Christine? Huh. Maybe she'll type it. Yeah, maybe you, you should type. Um, Sean? Safira? Uh, I'm sorry, are we stating our intention for this moment or? Um, 
Infinity. Yeah, I'm going to do, I want you guys to connect your consciousness. I'm going to do, a, I'm going to show you a method I learned in um, my sound immersion healing. And it's super, really, it's powerful. Um, oh, okay. So Thank you. just like, I'm going to use him as kind of like the body and he's going to have his own intention. Then I'm going to throw all your consciousness intention in with him. And then I'm just going to give you okay. a sample of what um, toning in the round looks like, I guess. Oh, thank you. Uh, so my intention then is to um, increase my self-esteem so that I become unperturbable, <laughs> meaning what anybody else says or does does not affect me. Okay. Um, if, it's, if it seems... If it seems negative, then it, I, I'm unperturbable because my self-esteem is so strong. That's what I would like. Thank you. And Christine came through um, on the chat and said she would like to be able to focus on one thing rather than multitask. So I think that's really good, too. Um, Sean, did you want to say anything? Okay, and then for, for me, I would like to um, be able to um, transmute, transmute the energy to be able to forgive and then use myself as a clear vessel to help others. Excellent. So, all right, here we go. So, I don't know if you want to stay here. Yeah, I'm going to continue to be for increased clarity. So this is what I learned and um, I'm going to show you. Before that, I want to tell you. No, I'm going to do this first. So what does that sound like to you? This is important when you're doing your own toning healing. You're just toning for yourself to heal. Is what is it that I seek and what does that sound like? And just let it fly. So what does that sound like? Oh. Now, after he makes this sound, I reflect the sound back to him and I work it out until it is finished, until it is complete. So all of you guys, in your own way, you make your sound with your microphones muted and we'll invite that energy into the space.
then I check if it's complete. <laughs> also tough. So, and how do you want to see how that how the person felt the sense of lightness? At one point, I felt like I was actually out in the field where I just felt this expanse mm -hmm. of space around me. Kind of in my head, I felt I felt light present. Well, when I pleasure always um a lot of times i think it's really funny because it's so much loud sound people like seem to i have a friend who describes me as the person who when i do sound healing on him i make him leave his body and he like goes off in the galaxy <laughs> has to find his way back to his body um but the first time i ever tried that i was taking a sound immersion class and um, I didn't know it at the time. I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit. I didn't know it at the time, but um, I guess the second person I tried that method out on um, had had shoulder issues for like years. I had no idea, but I just did what I did with James. And she looked at me, and she was like, what did you do? I don't know. I just did whatever my intuition told me to do. And apparently her shoulder pain went completely away. And it had been there for years. And she kept looking at me like I was Jesus, which is a great feeling, but also weird. <laughs> but um so that is one example. When I usually do a session, those are nice and short, and I believe um, that sound just really slams it home. Like, it really breaks through a lot of stuff, and it's forward and back th backward through time. So, like, I've had um, recipients, I was going to say clients, but they're just friends I do it for. Like, she's like, I just saw three past lives and you're flinging colors at me. Uh, so, I mean, a lot of people have a lot of different experiences. My daughter, I know, has had to put earplugs in because of like six tones coming out at once. Um, I wanted to share what Jody had to say from the chat. So Jody Lynn says, um, that she felt it in her heart and she was seeing a kaleidoscope of colors and she thanked you. Oh, I'm so glad. But one of the really neat things for me um, doing this is like, uh, you know, everybody has different skill sets. So my daughter can like look at my chakra and tell me what it wants to say to me. <laughs> I can't do that. Um, <laughs> What I see oftentimes is color, like bright flashes of color, and they'll stay, they'll just stay, and that's a frequency. So when I'm sending Reiki and whatever other kind of energy comes through, because, you know, sometimes it's maybe your higher self or a passing, or, I mean, Technically, a Sui Holy Fire we do we work with Archangels and Ascended Masters, which they're always present in all of my things, but you might get something else too. And I promise you, sometimes you'll even get a lecture in light of which about a chakra or something. <laughs> and sometimes I'll know what they say. And sometimes I will not. I am. Um, I was blown away by this is the first time I've really I've really seen or I've, like I've heard you a lot but this is the first time I've re really seen how one of one of the ways you implement it and I was just blown away I was like whoa holy cow <laughs> this woman is amazing <laughs> so I also I also pulled a card for oh. I felt like I should pull a card um, and the card is green and it's jade and mm -hmm. it says wellness the recovery of health and wellness is here oh. and 
what green is what chakra or do we have a green chakra yeah i'm like not our good chakra, chakra. Our chakra. so there we go <laughs> perfect so yeah it's actually a good heart stone thank you mm -hmm. so um i'm going oh i wrote down a few things i don't know Oh, you know what? We did this test. This was super great. So Brooke, my daughter, has a PEMF um, hemp machine. And what it does, it's pulsating electromagnetics, but you put frequencies with it. So you can insert different frequencies. So, you know, we have frequencies like that are related to our state of mind. So like you guys have heard of like the gamma is extreme alertness that's like 40 plus hertz um hertz is how many times the sound oscillates per second and then beta is um the common awake state and that's 12 to 40 hertz and alpha is 8 to 12 hertz and that's awake but not processing. And theta is four to eight hertz, which is deep relaxation. It's also really good to be in a meditative state. And delta is zero to four hertz. Now, anything below, it, or anything single digits, you can't audibly hear. But what they will do on YouTube is put them in into like, I like isochronic tones. They have some. Uh, pure delta, pure theta, pure whatever, uh, gamma, alpha, beta. And so if you want to have more energy, listen to gamma. If you want to like chill out and get in a slower state, like a trance-like state, theta, right? So anyway those are really helpful isochronic tones i'm particularly i swear they took down my favorite one it was for getting six-pack abs and i know it works because i would listen to it drink a lot of water and then my whole abs felt like i did a really amazing workout <laughs> so i've tried like all the sound things um there's something I did want to mention, and I did mention it earlier. I think maybe just me and Temple were talking about it. Uh, 432, all our music used to be tuned to 432 hertz. Um, that is on a scale it's of like sounds that go um, on, in the Fibonacci sequence or the golden mean, golden ratio, which is the pattern of how things form and come alive. Um, and so what happens if you tune your instruments at 432, I thought this was so sweet. A, a guy uh, um, retuned his guitar to 432 and it, it made him cry because it was so, it touched certain parts. So the 440 tuning takes out all the other numbers. So like mm -hmm. if you have this is a very wonky thing. We'll see. So right here, there's a 720, 432, 288, 144, 144, 1152. Anyway, all of those frequencies address some really cool, like sacred geometry. This ties in with sacred geometry very much. So when you move the 440 tuning, then you take out all these sounds that are actually helpful. Um, what I see sometimes when I get hear light languages or toning from other people is I will see geometry all over the place, like, and color, color and geometry, color and shapes, color and shapes. So, um, you know, a triangle, if you added it up, that's 180 hertz. You can get online, there's free online uh, sound generators. 
So you can set your hertz. You can, and you can also look up um, what hertz relates to what, like ailments from mental to physical. And I've tried so many of them and they're really effective. <laughs> um, so this is kind of like uh, the sacred geometry I was looking at, or just regular geometry. So a triangle is 180, a circle and a square are 360. If you add 180 and 360, you get 540, which is five-sided. And then if you add 360 and 540, you get 900, which is a nine-sided. Um, and then if you add the 540 and the 900, you get 1440, which is the star tetrahedron or the Mercury. So there's more to sound than just sound. <laughs> um, I did want to say uh, one, one thing that has, it's always been a surprise because I never thought, hey, I want to make loud sounds of people. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of loud anyway, but it, it felt embarrassing, I will say that. And it's taken me a very long time to, this is, to get on. The fact that I'm here today is a miracle. But um, so not only there's lots of things available to us for sound also. So like I have a number of Tibetan bowls. So I'm just gonna top it. And you just follow the sound. So singing bowls are great. Uh, crystal bowls are great. Um, also, a lot of times I have an inner shaman that likes to come out <laughs> when I do sessions. And sometimes I am intuitively guided to grab something to make sound other than voice. So, Sometimes to break up energy in your field, I might use like a shaker, something like this. Or I will be like guided to grab a drum.
example. Any sound. That kind of has a rain effect to it. And I burst into tears when I believe he does my song. <laughs> Sometimes I when I'm toning, I will hear a sound that I will call janky, but it sounds atonal. They're not quite right. That may not sound like a healing sound, but it may be just the sound. Like if I'm intuitively guided to grab something like this and make a boinging noise, maybe it's exactly the frequency of it. Maybe it's to help something loosen out of your world. So shakers and drums, I mean, shamans, and indigenous peoples. And it, I mean, my first um, mantra was Om Namah Shivaya. And I literally had Kundalini awakening experience doing that. I was not a meditator, but I will tell you, if you sing sacred sounds, and it really doesn't matter, just use your voice to make vibrations and keep it positive and high vibrations. So you don't want to go around singing the F word song or the I hate you song. <laughs> Maybe you want to think of something more positive. <laughs> but um, because thoughts and words are also vibrations and frequencies that you send out. So even if it's not attached to leaving your mouth, a vibration has been created that has been rippled out into the universe. So, um, does anybody have any um, comments or that you want to add or questions or anything at this moment? Yeah, I, I would mean, say something. This is Lucia. Hi. Um, I would say what I find very interesting is that um, as you are showing us these different instruments is that in reality our voice has all of the sounds that so, is correct <laughs> yeah and so you know for those who might not have um well who don't know exactly where to start you know because when you go into a store where there are crystal bowls and right. tibetan bowls and etc cetera, etc cetera, it can be overwhelming and you're going what where do i start and i think to start at home and to see your body as an instrument yes that is exactly what i want to tell you about i know a lot of sound healers use this and even though i haven't even though i have these things i kind of use them only for myself <laughs> but um the lady that i work with she's been doing form healing for a long time and she has every twinkly gadget you can have every crystal bowl everything and um she just looks at me and she's like you don't need anything like you don't need anything your voice does all of it um and i trust that it's true for me like as much as i love listening to the bulls myself they can really they feel really nice um usually i i sometimes so sometimes i know i feel like a super hard block and I'm not saying everybody, and I use my friend Kim, has this amazing handmade drum with a little, with a little amethyst alien dude on the back that a guy, in, a shaman in Peru made for her. <laughs> and when I work on her, we do like trades every Monday. Um, a lot of times if there's really stuck energy, I'll get like a chant or a song, like I just did. I don't know that song. I could never repeat that song. You know, <laughs> so whoever, whatever, it's just kind of like giving me some sounds. Um, these are not songs that I have in the left part or anything like that. Every session is always different. But the voice, I have heard people also say the voice is more powerful, in fact, than 
instruments. I don't know if that is fact. Well, the way that I perceive things is that my body is a crystal. And so if the sound is coming from my body, it knows where to heal exactly it goes where you need it most even though you might not know what's going on with you sometimes you so it's a it's a question of trust and intuition and just you know this is where the inner child comes into play i find because you have to let go because you might to other people outside because you see i'm right now i'm studying this so this is very interesting that you're <laughs> you're offering this webinar and um I've had to tell my family members, okay, I'm going to do the toning, and it's loud, and it doesn't sound like singing. It's not okay. melodic, right? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds anything but sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes it can be overwhelming for those who are listening to you because it's, it's not music, per se. Right. right. No, I agree. And that's why, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to, like, I have put off being public for so long because it's just, I don't know why. It's because I have a fear of fear and not going to do it. Like, it's like, mostly it's just really loud. <laughs> yes, yeah. And I would even, I would even say that it's channeled. Because well, it is if you, definitely yeah. for me because I can't sing. So like, mm. and I don't come up with the words and I don't like, you're working on just music. I didn't study music or get good at music. What happened is I went through like my Reiki master, my Reiki master teacher. I went through my galactic Reiki and I got a lot of energy. I started spinning around and I, I started getting like energy sounds in both ears. And then somebody just like physically <laughs> physically like making my throat hurt so my throat can accommodate sounds that are, were not previously possible I've gone through many iterations of throat changes if you will from invisible things so. Michelle yeah. Michelle hi <laughs> when you were doing the singing before with uh, the healing session that you did Wow, that was just so beautiful and brought me back to my mermaid slash <laughs> siren days, uh, which was one of my past um, existences. And it can be used to entrap and or to heal. And um, it was very beautiful. And I just wanted to let you know that. Sorry, hon. Yeah. So I wanted to let you guys know that while I do this, Everybody can do this. Like they, this book that I read all about toning, I kind of read it because I was going to do this. <laughs> it's basically tone every day. Tone every day. Little, like if you have, they gave example after example of people healing themselves from really chronic illnesses that were not healable. You know, and there's more than one way, skin cat, as they say, or heal a thing, as I say. Like there's a lot of ways to get healed, but this is definitely one that's super easy. It's actually fun. Your voice will improve. And <laughs> I'm skimming. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, the, uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to also ask, Michelle, yeah. when you were talking about isometric tones, uh, is that the isochronic, same? Isochronic, actually. Isochronic. Well, can you say that? Isotronic? Chronic, like. C H R O M I C. Oh, isochronic. Okay. Yeah, Is that you the don't have to listen to them with headphones because they're not binaural. You can just listen to one tone. And they're actually not that pleasant to listen to. They're in short bursts, but they're very effective. Okay, but they're different from the binaural beats, right? Yes, because it's only okay. one tone. Binaural oh, beats, you. you have to have one sound, they'll have one frequency in one ear and one frequency in the other ear, and then the brain makes it into one pitch that uh -huh. shifts. So the brain assimilates from each side and makes it one tone. And what is your, uh, oh, thank you, I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you, just one more last thing. What is your experience with 
listening to tones online, are they effective as, of course, it's more effective in person, but if somebody yes. goes to YouTube and listens to... I also, have been listening to them for years. Say like, literally. Oh. I've, yes. <laughs> can, you, can you say that again, honey? I'm sorry. I missed that. Oh, I've been listening to them for years. Uh, okay. Like, whenever I have, like, if I have a toothache or something. Yeah. Oh. Uh, no, okay, peace out. <laughs> thank um, you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're beautiful. Thank you. So I I do want to say, like, if you don't want to go through all your chakras, don't. But something as short um as om, um sa, satnam. Om Gum Gana Pati. See, I like to, I actually started using my malas and I like to do like Om Namah Shiva. So I go through that like 108 times or more if I want. But one thing I found is it clears the mind, not immediately, but over time. So it clears out the mind and then you just start feeling the vibrations and it starts doing whatever job it does. So like ancient kind of mantras that have been around for a couple of centuries <laughs> at least, um, are easy to find, like, what do you want to know? Yes. Like, Om Gam Ganapati Namaha. That's Ganesha. That's remove all obstacles. Om Namah Shivaya is kind of like, let's get rid of this stuff. It's yucky. Um, I've spent many hours in meditation, like, doing that and releasing. Um, there's a lot of if you look up kirtans are also really special they're sacred songs um there's one and i don't sing it i'm not going to sing it nearly as well as the person ek onkar ek onkar sat guru prasad sat guru prasad ek onkar so i sang that because a friend recommended it to me I burst into tears three times. It moved so much energy. It's so amazing how much energy sound can move. And you can move your own energy, your own stuff. In. Even especially if you just feel stuck, so just make noise and just keep making noise until you get to a place where it feels right. You sigh, sigh of relief. So I was going to pop in and say, um, just kind of catch up with the chat here. So Reinhardt says that this is really cool. And um, let's see, this is so cool. All the time we have the tuning sessions, we have the uninterrupted Schumann residence, still white. And then he gave a, a link. And then um, Christine said that she likes listening to opera for the tunes. She can't understand what they are saying, but the sounds are what she feels that she needs to listen to. And she said, I like the way Om Gan vibrates in my body. It goes Om Gan, Gan Pate Nama Achanta Ganesha. Om Gan Ganapate Namaha. Om Gan Ganapate Namaha. Om Gan Ganapate Namaha. So this is just to encourage you. Use your voice. Like, you can heal your own stuff. I mean, healers need healers too. True, true. But, um, but daily, from what I'm understanding, it's like, you know, a lot of thyroid issues come up for people, especially kind of like on our path. And they don't want to speak their truth. <laughs> and um, so one way to do that is to emote, 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 emote. Um, I was thinking about, 
unless somebody else wants to do that, is taking everybody's intentions and also adding in a few of my own, not mine, but like for the for everybody on my Reiki grid, <laughs> for my own self, and um, to Gaia. Love to every part. So we ripple out love um, to all hearts, whether you like them or not. Um, work on the chakras, get rid of trauma, work on releasing trauma, um, attachments, blocks, fear. Um, and like, this session to address standing in our own power, our sovereignty. Um, one thing I, my daughter and I had a really interesting conversation about last night is that a lot of people in healing communities or spiritual communities are reticent to receive or allow. Like when I lay down to get a toning session or healing session, I I have to remind myself, allow and allow. Don't like start thinking and blocking. Um, that's a really important factor, which, sorry, I waited so long. But I mean, this is a co-creation. It's not like, oh, you make super special sounds or you're super special. Your higher self and you have to also agree to accept the healing that is coming to you. So it's a co-creation. You know, it's not like every time I work with somebody, they immediately healed. Sometimes we like our pain and we or we have a contract and we're sticking it out, right? And sometimes we're vibrating at just the right place and we're ready and allowing to receive healing. Um, so also grounding energies and release of old ideas. So there's some of mine. If, if, if anybody else wants to add something to the pot. Does anybody want, uh, does, I need to get my English words right. Does anybody want to add anything else? Um, it's Lucia again. All I would say is that it's important to ground right to the very core, the crystal core of the earth. Everything else is so perfect. I wouldn't add anything else. Great. I'm going to show you this. It's such a delightful little sound. Just start picking up things. And it's almost hard to be in a bad mood about that. <laughs> So I'm gonna use Jamie's cool, Jamie is a prolific artist. Look Jamie up at birdhousestudios.com. It's got tons of great art, jewelry, and music. So I'm gonna go ahead and start toning and we'll just see how it goes. I don't know what'll happen. I never do, ever. <laughs> so. These are all in our pot. And I'm just gonna kind of use the body chakras as places or feel energetically how that is. Let's see how that goes. Oh, <laughs> 
sa shukate e na hei atsu kote e na hei mutu ke ta se ana ne ya tu ko o shukata ana ne hei ne asikir e na ne tu ko o shukata a mo na ne ya shukata ta ne ya ti shukata ta ne ya sa mo na ne ya sike e na e tu ko tu o shukata a me ya sa ta ana ne ya tu ko o shana ne ya se kuto umna na ne ya te se kata ana ne ya se kuto tu shana ne ya te e te kata ta ne ya tu shana ne ya te ko umne na ne umna da kata kata u se kata ana ne tu se kata ata ne ya sa mo na ne ya te e kata ta ana ne ya te a se kuto te na na e se kata ta e na mo te ya se ya te a se kuto ta ana ne ya te ko um kata ya se kuto ta ne Sometimes part of the session is silence and processing the energy. That really is affecting my heart. So I need to wait a minute until I'm able to do that. 
So I just hold space and hold it. Sikina <laughs> Now I want everybody to just take a really deep breath and blow it out the back of your high heart. Kind of like think of this as your high heart. This is your heart energy center. And just blow it out the back. Blow the energy. So breathe in. Think inside if you want to. Oh. 
kose ja ta šukota mēja kā se ana ne tu tu šekada ne se um ana ne tu ko tu ta mota ja se ka ta ne ce te se ka ta ja šukota ana ne ce ka ta ne su ona ne ta ona ja ca te ene na ja ce ke e meka ana ne su ko o šakata da ne ne ca ja ta ke ja su ko ta ne ne te ge ona ne ce ona ne ja ce ko to o ška Mosa ke ta da ne ja te ja se ka ta na ne tu 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 o ška te ene na ne ja tu sa ka ta na me ja ce o ko ta da ne ja ca ce ja ko ma ne ne ja sa o te ge ja se ene na ne ja Ai o Maria, se que na é, o na é, a só na é, a neo, o na é, a tu chana me a se. Om naya tu naya sana ke ane ame o naya ta se naya am o naya su sho me am o
אפשר אמנה אותם. עוד מעטה סור כאין עיניי למותו דייסה, עם מו כאסה כה ננה, מו נעשה כאין העין, מו תעשה את גרשות אומה כאננה תעשה, מה תרצי עיניי פוט דייסה. amazing I took a, I took a picture for you my cat was actually enjoying it as well so it's not just it's not just for humans or galactic humans or animals also <laughs> honestly I told you this but I didn't go to detail I, I was having problems with my computer I think my our vibratory levels were off and I was like energy is energy you're made out of energy i'm sending energy here we go i made sounds that sounded like metallic at my computer but it fixed it <laughs> <laughs> i also saw you more in the beginning but i also saw you in this priestess it was really cool i don't know how to explain it because i don't know what kind of what priestess it was but i saw you in this like your face and everything molded into, must have been like a past experience of you in a priestess yeah, time. It was amazing. Yeah, I have a lot of life tenses here, so I think. In Lemuria so, specifically, I was the teacher of teachers, like, which is kind of interesting. Not that that makes me better than anybody, it doesn't, it's just a lifetime. Um, <laughs> you know what, what's interesting about that? Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. go ahead, Trinity. Oh no. Oh, okay. I was going to say Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I was going to say that um um in the last couple days Lumeria and Atlantis and um sound healing have been massive. Also the dragon energy has been massive, but those those three Lumeria and um Atlantis and the priestess and the priestesses that energy has been really prevalent lately. Yeah. So. I think last week you told me I think that was Lumeria. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I said. I was like, I think it was your hearing. Um, so, um, uh, you know, something, when I was, I was working on the heart chakra and there's so much gross in the world, <laughs> I, I got, I, I was brought to tears uh, two or three times during that session. I mean, sometimes I empath other people's stuff, um, but and I can let it go through. And sometimes people can't cry also, and I cry for them. <laughs> so, I mean, I've had that happen. Um, when sending energy, like a, a certain area. Sometimes, um, anyway, so that's kind of a sample. That, I, I mean, it would be more interactive probably like in a session, like I would be, Sometimes I would feel I would be feeling through your energy fields for places and and or toning on your on like I I'll I'll bend down to on your body. That's amazing. Um, Trinity has a question for you. Uh, <clears throat> hi. <laughs> I'm trying to get you on the main screen for me. So, wow, thank you so much. And I was seeing you kind of in the middle of the ocean with the with a channel open to the heavens and then all of the 
water beings and you know mother earth also through you from from underneath um so can you share about your experience with the horse with the hathorns hathor sorry with the hathors um for those who don't know so any sarah 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 Oxidine used to do this. I don't know if she did how often she did it, but I did it every time she did it. Um, Hathor toning, and it would make my body just go fling, fling, fling. My arms, my legs, I could see and feel color. It was a it was the most wild experience. So I never knew anything about it until we went to the 2000 a couple of years ago at the hot springs thing. And I started toning, and the Hathors came through me to open sacred space. For, <laughs> and I hadn't, I didn't know I could tone the Hathors, but the Hathors, I can tone the Hathors. I do tone the Hathors a lot, and apparently they do have a language for those. Talk to can you learn. explain to those who don't know anything about them? Can you just say a little bit? Oh, well, so, ha the Hathors have been around. Um, okay, so number one, super great. Um, docu-drama, um, it's Tom Kenyon's The Boy Who Sang to the Earth or something of that nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, yep. so, so Tom, so I never read his book until this week, I swear to God. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> the Hathors are a race. Um, I've talked to them specifically in sessions with Jim. Like I have my own designated posse, if you will. But, um, they appear in ancient Egypt, although they've been with the Earth for a much, much longer period of time, um, as a race of healers and specifically sound. Um, in the book, the that he wrote about the Hathor material. Um, the Hathor is not got a body. When they do have a body, you can look at the Hathor temple, for instance, pictures. They've cleaned it off. It's really beautiful. So they're kind of like have cow ears and kind of braids. And they think they're very pretty. <laughs> um, they, um, but they're, they've been kind of like they're higher vibrationally than we are um and they've been with us humanity and earth gaia for like, hundreds of thousands of years maybe longer i don't know um but they started popping up at least twelve thousand years ago and things that you can actually like, get your hands on i think as far as like um their likenesses or their um and then the patwar um temple they they had a lot of like, um, mystery schools so that was like one branch of healing modalities that's pretty much all i know and they sound really jiggly and my feel and they make my voice do really neat that I yeah do they do they yeah amazing do they participate in like almost all your healings would you say i would say yes okay thank you that was, that was beautiful thank you that's a great question um i can read a little bit if you want me to on the tom Kenyon page of what he channeled with the hathors who they are and stuff otherwise we have just a few minutes left so we can also just go into blessings as well and i can post that link on the youtube chat so what what would you like to do well i would say that if you're interested in sound check out isochronic tones binaural beats your own voice um i'm gonna put a couple links to some sound videos i think after the thing after the broadcast um notice sound and what it makes you feel like in your body um paying attention <clears throat> to your body like when you hear things that make you feel icky. um 
the Hathors, just like Pleiadians, just like Arcturians, are all really great. So, what I oh, oh sorry, I'm reading your all your all your chats are popping up on my screen. <laughs> so, um, uh, Hathors isn't the only thing I tone. I tone angels. It started off with angels not Hathors, or at least I didn't know. I didn't know, but Hathors also have very, they also have angelic beings as well. So, but they're just, um, they're at least in our cultural literature. So there's something people can actually look up. Like you would look it up. Awesome, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So if you wanna give blessings, do, do we have, um, Trinity would like to do a blessing. I can do a blessing. Uh, Sean, Micheline, Christine, Brooke, anybody? It looks like Micheline dropped out, honey. Oh, okay. She's still Sorry. showing on my... She's showing on me. Um, oh, okay. I know she's running between devices, so... Um, yeah, well, let's start. Trinity, you want to start? Okay. I just need a moment. I shahada bondo choko au cholo shomalaha i chakya au choko mo cholo cho aha chama ki a choko ashama hatono. Thank you. Thank you, that was beautiful. Anybody else? Brooke says, okay, Brooke says she can't speak light language or tone, so I am not a good candidate. Well, you don't have to do, you can give a, a blessing in your own language too. So don't worry, it doesn't have to be light language or toning or any of that. Um, okay, in that case, I, I can do it. There's a lot of airplanes going over, so I apologize in advance. Um, well, we all learned a lot today. That was extremely beautiful. I gained an understanding, even though your mother, um, I learned a lot from watching this and listening to this. And it was super beautiful and very healing. And I could not be more proud and thrilled. And this was super beautiful. And thank you for everyone who participated and everyone who watches later. This is a huge step. And I am so happy. <laughs> That's my baby. <laughs> That's wonderful. Anybody else have a, a blessing? Uh, sorry, I don't have a blessing in this sense, but I want to express my thank you for this, uh, for this beautiful um, showing what toning means with all the things you have done. So I've never seen it in this sense. So thank you very much. Play the sound, play, play, play. There's lots of tone generators and you can open a bunch of them and put the hertz and have them all play. Make your own sounds, that's fun. Okay, it's really thank safe. you. That's great. Um, Sean, I saw you just pop back in. Did you wanna give a blessing? No? Shiny Sean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'll just read a few from the chat uh, on YouTube. So Jody says, blessings to all. Thank you. And then Emmanuel's blessing was bless, never stress, which is good. Uh, Diane says, thank you, everyone. Um, so I will, I'll do a blessing then. Um, okay. Guto na ai i gu jo na tai a so to kana ta ta tai a na ta to tai ta kana ta ta tai do no to te ta ta ti na to te ya ta 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 kana te te ta ta gu lo te ya na te ya ta 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 kana te ta 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 ya o no to to kia ta na si a to ko o bo lo ka ai a ta 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 ti a to 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 na te 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 ya ta ti a te ti a te ti a te ti a te ti a ta 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 na ya ta ti a to na ti a ti a ti a ti a to 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 te ya ta ti a ta 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 to na ti a ta 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 ta
Nasya tatai toti ya nasai ya hanaka. Wala juona haya saka na masa uwa bulu juna tai ya ata. Nasya na ha. Muku aya to aya aya ono ko aya o ta 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 na ta 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 na ta 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 David, did you want to do a blessing? Uh, yeah, I could. Um, I could do a short toning. I uh, worked with the mermaids for a while, and I—that's when I started toning. Somebody told me I had the ability, so um, if you want me to do that, yeah. Yeah, that would be awesome. Okay. <laughs> Much love to all. Peace, blessings, love and light. That was beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Do we have uh, Do we have any other blessings? I, I can do a blessing if you like. Yay! Okay, Michelin, right. go ahead. Asha sono mi ni ki la sha sa ki la kasha sono mi. Kasa la kasha so toki, kaka la sha sa ko si ti ki sa kala mi. Asho si ki la sha sa ka la sha to ki li si li mi ni ka la sha sa. Ami ki sha sa ko, kako li si ni ki la kako li ko. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um. Anything else you wanna you wanna add, and then we'll we'll close, Michelle. I think we're done. I just you know, would encourage everybody um, to start cleaning for your own self, for your own stuff, and let it be organic. And uh, don't try not to judge it. That's a really starting out. Like I did not want to hear Tom on the street and the either. I was really embarrassed by that. <laughs> so, try not to judge it and allow, allow, allow. Allow. Mm -hmm. So, um, I guess that's it. You know, there's, okay. a, there's a lot. I'm not the preeminent person. I just, this is what I love to do. So, this is my heart. I want to share it. I think we're all really blessed that you're able to to share with us because this is something I knew a little bit about and I do a little bit on myself, but this is like a whole new modal modality. modality. So um, thank you so much for coming on and thank you guys, everybody, for tuning in, asking questions, and we want to send blessings to you all and have a great, great weekend. And I think that's it. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna try to just stop the broadcast.